it takes to have change happen in your life? Does it take your boss changing, your husband or wife changing, your kids growing up? Does it take uh, a different president or king or queen, <laughs> wherever you live? Does it take a different type of government? Does it take uh, more money? Does it take uh, no more credit card debt? Does it take uh, your health changing? So what is it that's going to create real change in your life? For most of us, we think about this as something outside of us. Some situation outside of us has to change before change happens. So in order to have the life we want, our financial situation has to change, our work has to change, our significant other has to change. In fact, the only thing that has to change is you. So I often talk to writers and uh, activists, change agents, about becoming authors of change, writing books that will author change in the world, or in lives, or in communities and organizations. In fact, the first thing they have to do is they have to change themselves. They have to become an author of change. They have to author change in their own lives. It's exactly the same for you. You don't have to want to write a book, but you do have to realize that you are the author of change in your own life. No one else, nothing else, you are the author. It's like, you know, I, I talk about this sometimes at the um, Jewish New Year because we talk about being inscribed in the book of life, right? So for another year. Well, that's what you do every day. You have a book, it's your life, and you write in it. You write in it through your actions, the things you do, how you show up, your behavior, your words, your demeanor, your posture. You write in that book of life by what you say, you write in the book of life through your intentions. When you intend, when you think about being different, about things being different, you put an energy out into the world, right? So the fact is that the any, anything that's out there in around you is going to be affected by your energy and by where your thoughts are, by where, what you're focusing on. And if you're focused on that your spouse needs to change before the marriage gets better, you're gonna wait till doomsday. You need to change. If you want your boss to behave differently, or you wanna get paid more, stop waiting around for that to happen and change you. Change yourself into someone who can get paid more. Or make the change. Become a braver person, a person brave enough to take action towards getting a different job. If you feel stuck, get unstuck. That takes you, you getting unstuck. Now I hear from a lot of people, things have happened in their life that caused them to be the way they are or be in the situation they are. You know, long ago, I, um, I, I interviewed Stuart Wilde. I had gone out to uh, Taos, New Mexico, and uh, had taken his Warrior's Wisdom course, amazing course. I had read all his books, and I had the chance to sit down with him and to interview him. And we were talking about how people change. And he said, you know, just because you fell out of a tree when you were three and you broke your leg, and now you limp for the rest of your life, doesn't mean that that has to be your identity. You don't have to be the person who limps. You don't have to be a victim of the fall. Yeah, it happened, but it was in the past. Who do you want to be right now? Who do you want to be in this moment? So whatever happened to you, whatever abuse or bad situations or health issues or problems, you know, whatever it was, it's in the past. Choose who you want to be now. Author your life now. I often think about Sean Stevenson. Sean Stevenson, I can't remember what... Um, illness he was born with. He had fragile bones and he didn't grow tall. He's like three feet tall and he's in a wheelchair. But you know what? I've seen him at events where he's speaking and he's up on a table showing people his exercise routine, doing weights, right? I've seen him sitting in his wheelchair on video having a dance party and showing people how he has a dance party and encouraging them to come along and have a dance party. He's making a choice in every moment not to let his his 
physical condition be a disability? He's making a choice to show up happy, confident, willing to serve others. So what are you willing to do? Who do you want to be? How do you want to show up? It's your choice and then you author your life. Not somebody else, not your spouse, not your boss, not your parents, not the situations or experiences you've had. Yeah, they make you who you are to a certain extent and then you get to choose who you're going to be, who you're going to become. So I want to encourage you today to author the change in your life. Author the change, be the author of change. You sit down, sit down with a journal, write down what you, who you want to become, who you want to be, how you want to show up, what you want your life to look like. And then decide what you're going to do to make that happen. Who do you have to be to make that happen? How do you have to change to make that happen? But make it happen because you can. You have the power. Take back the power. Take back your personal power. Make some decisions about how you want to show up, who you want to be, what you want your life to look like, and then take, as Tony Robbins would say, massive action towards that. It is within your control. And manage this. Because if you let this get out of control, your mind, your thoughts, your beliefs, you let that get out of control, then you're going to struggle. And you can control that too. So decide what change you want to have within yourself, in your life, and then you become the author of that. You take the pen and paper and you write it out and you make it come true. Okay? You can do it. Take the action and be the author of change in your own life. I'm Nina Amir. I'm the Inspiration to Creation Coach. I'm an author coach and a blog coach, but I'm also a certified high performance coach, one of 700 elite coaches working all around the world. And it is my honor and passion to help people like you combine your passion and your purpose so you get inspired and take inspired action and get inspired results. It is my honor and passion to help you get out of your own way so that you can author your life, so you can author the change within yourself and in your life so that you can create whatever it is you want to create. I do that most often with high performance coaching. And if you're interested in learning how to master your physiology, your psychology, your productivity, and effectiveness and focus, your per people skills and your purpose, if you want to master how present you are here in this moment, not in the past or in the future, but how present you are with what you want to create so that you can create it, then fill out my application. Just go to ninaamir.com forward slash free session or look for the link at the end of this video. Fill out the application and if I think we're a good fit, then I'm going to contact you and we're going to get on the phone or Zoom or Skype, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, and we're going to have a chat. More than a chat, we're going to have a strategy session of an hour or an hour and a half and we're going to talk about some of these things. We're going to help you get more clarity around what you want to change and how you can change it. Find the energy to do that, no matter what. Get the courage to move forward towards your dreams. Be more focused and effective with your actions and be on purpose. Be on purpose and, and begin to, to step into your best self and your best life. You'll take away some strategies and tools that you can use immediately and we'll see if we're a good fit to work together. And if we are, then you can hire me as your high performance coach. And we can do 12 sessions together or 12 more sessions after that. But you can get involved in this whole high performance thing so that you can level up to, and get out of your own way so that you can create the life of your dreams, so that you can author change in your life and in the world and in yourself. So fill out the application of ninaamir.com forward slash free session and we'll be in touch. And until then, make sure that you don't look outside yourself for how to change, look inside yourself for change. You are the author of change in yourself, in your life, in the world. Okay? And until then, you go out there and achieve more inspired results. Mm -hmm.